Who are the warriors? I want them brought back here alive, if not wasted. All right, have a listen. Uh, gotta fix this. Doesn't have a bridge. Most of the other videos I've seen usually tack weld. They don't have a bridge, so. If you're somewhat handy and want to do some rot fixing um, on the cheap with, and you don't feel like dealing with a tack welder, you can just use some metal. I got this from a, um, this is for a heating, this is a heating duct. I had it hanging around. I'm not really worried about the value, the rust value of this because it's going to be entombed in, um, in the fiberglass. So what I basically did was took it cut it down like until it felt like I could make a flat you know reach on here in a flat way like that and um, I'm gonna show you basically how it's what my idea is here um, I used hey there I used the other side of the fender to to approximate the curve figured it would be close enough and then I'm not gonna have it fully on here um, I'm going to kind of bring it back a little bit and then, you know, build it up with, with the, uh, you know, Bondo, fiberglass slash Bondo. So, the underside of the, of the wheel well, I'm going to come in and come up. You see how this got a little lip there? And then the lip here rusted out, as you can see. So, I'm going to approximate that as well. Um even though I'm not too worried about that because you can't see it. It's beneath the wheel well, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rough this down. I'm going to rough up under here down, and I'm just going to use a Loctite sort of um, a uh, metal-to-metal, you know, Loctite slash JB weld, and I'm going to, you know, smear it on here. And just kind of stick this on here, and then... What I'm going to do is build up the rest with, um, you know, build up the extra, you know, eighth or whatever that's going to be with the, with your with my glass and my bondo. I approximated this curve by putting it on the you know the fender like this, drew a line, and then I'm just bending. You know cutting slices and bending the metal up along the line um, here at the end I kind of messed it up a little bit so I'm going to use a little pair of um, you know something let me just grab this something like this I'm going to hold it there excuse me like that and then bend it on the line hold on one second I'm going to do that and wait I only got two hands. That's what she said. I really like you guys. Okay. Anyway, hold on. Boink, 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 boink. So I'm just gonna cut this. See the how that's a little bit. It's got, that's gonna end up being a little bit thicker on the bend there. Oopsie. Like this. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit. Hold on a sec. Okay. So that's an approximation of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to try to just have a look here. So I'm going to, hold on one sec. Yeah, I'm going to push it in tight there. So right, see how right here it's right on. I want it to be a little bit higher so I have a little room to build up with the Bondo. So that's about what I want. And then I'm still having, I'm still having I'm still having the curve a little bit there. I mean, this piece here, that's going to be filled in so it'll look like one long solid piece. Hold on. It's kind of like, sorry, I'm screwing this up here. Kind of like this. So if you take a look under here, yeah, I kind of got it stuck up there a little bit. And then, that, and then this piece continues. I'll start on this side. It might be a little bit better. Yeah. It's the other piece. And then goes into like my little skeleton thing for for uh 
you know putting the bond putting the bondo on um, so this video is really just to give you an alternative to tack welding so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire wheel um, and rough up this piece that I've made on on this side and on the other side. Oh, well, I don't need to do on the other side, but um, so I'm going to rough this side up because it's going to be glued to the inside of the well, which is also metal. And I'm going to rough up the good part of this inside metal, and then I'm going to use my basically my JB weld to tack that on there like so and have it you know you want it to be a little bit higher than like i said because you're going to be putting your glass in there so you want to give yourself a little room for you know to build up to build up your you know your glass and your bondo and then there's going to be a little bit as you can see obviously there's going to be a, a dip here about an eighth of an inch but we're going to fill that in with the glass and this whole piece is going to be entombed, you know, in, in, in nice glass, then bondo over it. So it should be good. And that kind of like gets you out of, you know, gets you out of the, you know, every time I've looked out there to do this, I'm like, everybody seems to want to tack weld the piece on. And I don't think it's necessary because, you know, the inside, I'm not even going to bother worrying about the, you know, the jump on the inside. It's going to be a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a lip there because it's, it's underneath and it's gonna be covered up. By the time I'm done with the inside, uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna put glass and then I'm gonna put rock chip protector up in here anyway, so it's not even gonna be, you know, that, this tip is not gonna be noticeable up in here, it'll be all covered up. And this was basically acting like a strong, you know, a strong skeleton to bridge that gap and let me build on, build on that, so. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show, really. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Um, and this could be used anywhere um, on any, you know, you can do this. I'm actually going to be doing it on the other side. So I'll show you a follow-up vidi when I'm done and let you know if I ran into any trouble. Um, I already grinded this bad boy down. This is a 2008 Ford Escape. I'll take you over here. Just for the sake of, I don't know. See, this one's gonna be done the same way. Um, in this truck, it's a 08 hybrid, gets an average of 30, or tw about 29 miles per gallon. That's real, just driving without thinking about the hybrid. It's pretty good, 30, 30 miles per gallon. This thing's got 200,000 miles on it. These are kind of a, if you look into downsize, these are a well-known secret. A hardly known secret, I should say. <laughs> Actually, they've been coming, these have been becoming a little bit more expensive. I wire-wheeled this too. I'm gonna just spray it down. I let it go, because that's what I do. That's what everybody does, you let it go and... Uh, anyway, all right, so. Hope you liked the video. Give a thumbs up if you feel it was helpful at all. Um, the product in place of our tack welding is going to be either JB Weld or Loctite Metal. And we're going to press it on here with some clamps and let it dry probably a day, you know. And then once that's nice, you know, once that's all nice and dry, once that piece is there like that, look at that. And it's flat against here, too, which is nice. I mean, if you end up having a curved wheel well, just curve it. And then, you know, you can get it on the inside of yours. Um, and then, because, you know, you're doing a little bit of artwork after this anyway. We're building up with the glass and shit. So, all right. Good luck.